Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today's class, it's all about the polynomials. And we're going to determine the real roots of each equation. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let's start with number 1. We have x minus 2 equals 0. So to get the roots class, very easy. Just simply transfer this negative 2 from left to right. Now once you transfer an equation from this equal sign, you change the sign class. So you transfer this negative 2 from left to right. And you change the sign, so our answer will be x equals positive 2. So that's the answer for number 1 class. Easy, right? For number 1, x equals positive 2. Alright, number 2. So we have x, quantity x minus 4 equals 0. So x, quantity x minus 4 equals 0. So the thing that you will do, class, just equate x. You write x, then equals to 0. So you write this one x equals 0, and the other one, you also equate this one. This x minus 4 equals 0. So x minus 4 equals 0. So you, you equate x equals 0, and then x minus 4 equals 0. So to get the value of this x, just simply trans transfer this negative 4 from left to right. And do not forget to change the sign class. Once you transfer from this equal sign, you always change the sign. So this will be x equals, this is negative, it will be positive 4. So that's your answer class. x equals 0 and x equals positive 4. Easy, right? So we have x equals 0 and x equals positive 4. Alright, let's try number 3. So number 3, we have x plus 1 equals, okay, multiply by x minus 3 equals 0. So once again, you equate this one. You equate x plus 1 to 0. This one, you equate this one. So this will be x plus 1 equals 0. And the other one, the other one plus this will be x minus 3 equals 0. x minus 3 equals 0. Once again, to get the value of x, just simply transfer this 1 from left to right. And do not forget, class, to change the sign. So transfer this one, and this is positive. It will be negative 1. And the other one, transfer this negative 3. It is negative. Once you transfer from this equal sign, you change the sign. This is negative. It will be positive 3. Alright, so that's the answer for number 3. Easy, right? For number 3 x equals negative 1 and x equals positive 3. Alright, let's try number 4. So we have x squared, x minus 9, then 2x plus 1 equals 0. So before equating this one into 0, you check first class x squared. Can we simplify x squared? Yep, we can simplify this one as x times x, right? x times x, so what's the answer? x times x. That's correct. x times x, that would be x squared. So we can write x squared as x times x, then x minus 9, then 2x plus 1 equals 0. So we will need to separate this one class, x squared, to x times x, because the next part of our video class is still finding the real roots, but we're dealing with multiplicity of a number class. I hope that you know this one about multiplicity of the real roots. We will explain that one class on the next part of our video. So we can equate this one. So x equals 0. So for first answer, that would be x equals 0. And the other answer, so we equate this one, x equals 0. Second answer, we have this one. Alright, and then x equals 0 again. Next will be x equals, x minus 9 equals 0. And the other one, 2x plus 1 equals 0. So simplify this one. You transfer negative 9 from left to right. So this will be positive 9. And this one, you transfer 1 from left to right. This is positive. It will be negative. So 2x equals negative 1. To get the value of x, you divide both sides by 2. So our x will be equals to negative 1 half. Alright, so we have 2, 0. So 0, multiplicity of 2. So once again, class, we will explain the multiplicity of a number in the next part of our video. So we have x equals 0, 
2x equals 0, then 9, then x equals negative 1 half. So remember this one class, we don't have enough space for number 4. So remember the answer of number 4, we have x equals 0, 2x equals 0, and then x equals 9, then x equals negative 1 half. That's the answer for number 4 class. I will just not write it here because we need to make solutions for number 5, 6, 7, and 8. And we don't have enough space. Just remember this one class. You pause the video. This will be the answer for number 4. Alright, so let's try number 5. So I will just not write the answer of number 4 class because we don't have enough space. So for number 5, we have 2x. Then x squared minus 36 equals 0. So before we find the roots, so check first class. So copy 2x, check first with this equation class. Can we factor this out? Yep, we can factor this out class by the square of the difference of 2 square. Do you still remember class if you don't have the value of b? So if you want to know more about factoring class, I will just put the link on the description down below with regards to factoring. So x squared minus 36, you can factor this out by the difference of two squares. If you have a perfect square on the left side and a perfect square on the right side, so you can factor this out by the difference of two squares. Just simply get the square root of the first term. So once again, you put two parentheses, then equals zero. So x squared minus 36. So simply get the square root of the first term. So once again, two parentheses. So x squared of x squared, that is x. You get the square root of 36. Square root of 36, that is 6. Then you put plus and minus. That's the answer class. Even if you multiply this one using the FOIL method, you will get this answer class. So once again, if you want to learn more about this factoring, I will just put the link class in the description down below with regards to factoring. So this will be x square root of x square, that is x. The square root of 36, that is 6. Then you put plus, then minus. Alright, so that's it. Equate this one into 0. So this will be 2x. So equate this one into 0. So 2x equals 0. The other one, this one, x plus 6 equals 0. x plus 6 equals 0. And this one, x minus 6 equals 0. So to get the value of x for this one, you divide both sides by 2. Divide by 2. So x equals 0. 0 divided by 2 is 0. This one, you transfer 6 from left to right. This is positive. It will be negative 6. And this one, this is negative 6. You transfer this one, it will be positive 6. So that's the answer for number 5 plus. x equals 0 x equals negative 6 and x equals positive 6. So I will just not put the answer class here because we don't have enough space. I think we have enough space. Okay, let me just write the answer here. x equals 0 and x equals negative 6. Okay, we don't have enough space class because we need to make solutions. So I will just not write the answer class. Just remember the answer class for number 5, x equals 0 x equals negative 6 and x equals positive 6. Alright, so let's try number 6. So we have 3x 3x plus 1 squared then x plus 7 then x minus 2 raised to the power of 4 equals so this 3x plus 1 class, it means that you multiply this 3x plus 1 by itself twice because it says squared. Okay, you have squared here. It means 3x plus 1 times 3x plus 1. Alright, so 3x plus 1 squared, it means 3x plus 1 times 3x plus 1. Then this one, copy x plus 7. Then this one plus x minus 2 raised to the power of quantity x minus 2 raised to the power of 4. It means you multiply this equation by itself 4 times. This is x minus 2, then x minus 2, then x minus 2, then x minus 2, then equals 0. So 3x plus 1, 2, 3x plus 1, then x plus 7, then 4x minus 2. So, we will just not write the answer individually, class. We will just write this first answer 
3x plus 1. Of course, we do have two answers for 3x plus 1. So let me just write the answer 3x plus 1 plus 3x plus 1 equals 0. Then x plus 7 equals 0. x plus 7 equals 0. Then x minus 2 equals 0. Once again, class, we do have three answers, uh, no, sorry, two answers for 3x plus 1 because it's a square. I will just write one class. Okay, later on, we will write the two answers and the four answers for x minus 2. So, 3x plus 1 transpose 1 from left to right. This is 3x equals negative 1. So, divide both sides by 3, divide by 3. So, x equals negative 1 third. Alright, and this one, you transfer 7, this is x equals negative 7. And this one, you transfer negative 2 from left to right. Okay, negative 2 from left to right, this is negative, it will be positive 2. So, for x equals negative 1 third, we do have two answers for this one because we have 3x plus 1, 2, 3x plus 1. So, our final answer class will be... Okay, let me just write the final answer here. So we have 2x. Okay, we have x equals. Okay, so let me write the final answer here in the top part class. Don't have enough space. So we have 2x equals negative 3. So x equals. So x equals. So, x equals negative 1 over 3. So, x equals negative 1 over 3. Then, x equals negative 7. x equals 2. Then, we have 2x raised to the... Uh, no, we have 4x equals 2. Because it says... Okay, because it says x minus 2 raised to the power of 4. So, even if we simplify this 1, x minus 2 equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0, you will get the same answer class. x equals positive 2. So, we have four answers for x equals 2, x equals 2, and x equals 2. So, that's your answer class for number 6. So, that's your answer for number 6. So, in multiplicity class, you will just write this one as 2 is a root of multiplicity 4. This x equals 2, you, you can write this one in multiplicity. 2 is a root of multiplicity 4. Because this 2 have 4 answers, same answer class. Alright, but we will explain multiplicity class on the next part of our video. So, let's try number 7. Alright, so let's try number 7. We have x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. So for this one class, you do the factoring. You still remember the factoring class? You find two numbers that when you multiply the two numbers, you will get negative 2. At the same time, when you combine, you will get positive 1. So understood class that there's 1 here for x. So once again, for negative 2, factors of 2 class. This is negative 2, so one number should be negative. What are the two numbers class that when you multiply, you will get negative 2. Then when you combine, you will get positive 1. Of course, there would be positive 2 and negative 1, right? Why is that, sir? Because if you multiply 2 times negative 1, 2 times negative 1, that is negative 2. If you combine positive 2 plus negative 1, do we get positive 1 class? Yep. If the signs are not the same, you subtract 2 minus 1 is 1. Then you copy the sign of the larger number. 2 is greater than 1. So we copy the positive sign. So our factor class will be this one. x plus 2. x equals positive 2. Oh, sorry, x plus 2, positive 2. And the other one, x minus 1 equals 0. So that's how you factor class. You find two numbers that when you multiply, you will get negative 2 when you add you will get positive 1 so you equate this 1 into 0 so this will be x plus 2 equals 0 and x minus 1 equals 0 so transfer this 2 
So this is positive. This will be x equals negative 2. This is negative. You transfer this one. This will be x equals positive 1. That's it, class. That's the answer for number 7. Easy, right, for number 7? Alright, so you pause the video, class. Remember the answer for number 7. Now, for number 8, class, most requested by the students, what if, sir, if we cannot factor these numbers? Because there are some cases, class, that you cannot factor out the numbers using the factoring. What would be the thing, that, the thing that you will do? So if you cannot factor class, just use the quadratic formula. Once again class, if it's hard for you to factor the numbers or if we cannot factor the numbers, we will be using the quadratic formula. Okay, let me explain number 8 class. This is actually the most requested class. What if sir, if we cannot factor out the number? So if you cannot factor out the number, you will use the quadratic formula. So we have x plus 8, then... Okay, x plus 8, then x minus 7, then x squared minus 2x plus 5 equals 0. So, of course, you can equate this one, this x plus 8 and x minus 7. So, we can write x, x plus 8 equals 0, then x minus 7 equals 0. And this one class is we need to factor this out. So, x squared minus 2x plus 5. So, can we factor this out plus x squared minus 2x plus 5? So, x squared minus 2x plus 5 equals 0. For number 5 plus, you think of a number plus, two numbers that when you multiply the two numbers, you will get 5. At the same time, when you combine, you will get negative 2. There's none. Why is that, sir? Because the factors of 5, it's only 1 and 5. There's no other factors of 5 that's only 1 and 5, right? So, 1 times 5. That is 5. If you add 1 plus 5, that is 6. If you subtract 5 minus 1, that is 4. So we cannot get 2. So the thing that we will do, we cannot factor this out using factoring. So we will be using the quadratic formula class. Just remember the quadratic formula. Once again class, always remember this one. If you cannot factor out the numbers, you will be using the quadratic formula. Okay, let me copy this one. x squared minus 2x plus 5 equals 0. So x squared minus 2x plus 5 equals 0. So our a is beside x squared. So our a is 1. We need to get the value of a, b, and c. Our b is negative 2. And our c is positive 5. So the formula, in quadratic formula, there would be x equals negative b, positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So this will be x equals copy negative sign. Okay, once again class, negative sign. It's already in the formula. Copy negative sign. Then your b is negative 2. So your b is negative 2 from this equation. So you put parenthesis, then negative 2. Once again class, you will be asking questions. Sir, why do you have two negatives? This first negative class came from the formula. So it says negative b. So came from the formula and the value of your b is negative 2. Once again, this is your a beside x squared. This is your b, negative 2. And your c, the constant is positive 5. Then positive negative. Once again, this negative is the came from the formula and this negative 2, the value of b. Positive negative square root of your b is negative 2, negative 2, then squared minus 4, then a is 1, then c is positive 5. All over 2, then a is 1, 2 times 1. 2a, it, it means 2 times 1. 2 times a, a is 1. So x equals, this is negative times, you multiply this 1, negative times negative, this is positive 2, positive negative square root of, 2 squared plus negative 2 squared, it means negative 2 times negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2, that's positive 4. So this will be negative 4 times 1, that's negative 4. Times 5, that's negative 20. All over 2 times 1 is 2. So combine this one, this will be x equals 2 positive negative 4 minus 20 class. That's correct. That's negative 16. Once again, if the signs are not the same, positive 4, negative 20, you subtract. 4 minus 20 is 16. Copy the sign of the larger number. So copy negative sign. Negative 16. Square root of negative 16 
all over 2. So once again, class, if you have a negative square root, that's imaginary. So the thing that you will do, class, is you need to remove that negative square root. So let me explain this one, class, negative square root. Example, class, square root of negative 4. How will you simplify that one? So to simplify that one, class, is you need to multiply this one by negative 1. So you can write this one, class, as square root of negative 1 times the square root of 4. Why is that, sir? Because a square root of negative 1 times square root of 4, that is equivalent to square root of negative 4. And always remember that the square root of negative 1 is equivalent to i. Just remember this one class. A square root of negative 1 is equivalent to i. So therefore, once again, square root of negative 4, that's equivalent to square root of negative 1 times square root of 4. The square root of negative 1 times square root of 4, that's square root of negative 4. And the square root of i, a square root of negative 1, is equivalent to i, then the square root of 4, that is 2. So i times 2, the answer is 2i. So that's how you solve class. So for this one, so once again class, always remember that the square root of negative 1 is equivalent to i. So this one, we're not allowed to have a negative square root, so we can simplify this one class as x equals to positive negative a square root of so negative 1 times the square root of 16. So once again, class, the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 16, that is the square root of negative 16. This is just the same class. Once again, square root of negative 1 times square root of 16, that's square root of negative 16. All over 2. So this will be x equals 2 positive negative square root of negative 1 class. That's correct. That is i. Then the square root of 16, that is 4. All over 2. So this will be, okay, so this will be x equals so this is 4i, so i times 4, that is 4i, so 2 positive negative, i times 4, that is 4i, all over 2. Alright, so almost done, I will be erasing this part class, you pause the video, I will be erasing this part. So let me erase this part. So quite tricky, right, for number 8? Because we have imaginary number. So this will be, simplify this one class, positive then negative. So this will be 2. Okay, this will be x. Let me copy this one first. 2 positive negative 4i over 2. Once again, you simplify this one. We have positive then negative. So this will be x equals 2 positive 4i over 2. And the other one, x equals 2 then minus 4i all over 2. Once again, class, you separate the positive and negative. So 2 plus positive, then 4i over 2. x equals 2, then minus 4i over 2. So can we simplify this one? Yep, we can divide 2 by 2 and 4 by 2. So you can simplify this one. x equals, so 2 divided by 2, that is 1, plus 4 divided by 2, that is 2i. And the other one, x equals 2 divided by 2, that is 1. The negative 4 divided by 2, that's negative 2i. Alright, so that's the roots class of this quadratic equation a while ago. So this will be the roots. So once again, class, do not be confused why I get this one. This is 2, so x equals 2 over 2. You can write this one as 2 over 2 plus 4i over 2. Same with this one, you can write this one, x equals 2 over 2 minus 4i over 2. And divide 2 divided by 2, that is 1. Then 4 divided by 2, that is 2i. So 2 divided by 2, that is 1. Negative 4 divided by 2, that's negative 2i. So this will be our roots class for the quadratic equation a while ago for number 8. So x equals 1 plus 2i and x equals 1 minus 2i. So this will be... So this will be, this is x minus 7, then x squared minus 2x plus 5. So our answer for this one, that would be x equals 
1 plus 2i and the other 1x equals 1 minus 2i. Alright, and this will be x. Transfer this one. This is positive 8. It will be negative 8. This is negative 7. Transfer this one. It will be positive 7. So our final answer will be x equals negative 8, x equals 7, x equals 1 plus 2i, and x equals 1 minus 2i. Alright, so that's it class. That's the answer for number 8 all set for this one. So once again, for number 8 class, quite complicated since we have imaginary number. So once again, if you have some questions with this one, if it's hard for you to factor out, go ahead class. You put a comment in the comment section down below because we will be answering that one. So once again class, if it's hard for you to factor out the numbers, example class this one, it's hard for you to factor out the numbers, you will be using the quadratic formula class. Always remember it, that one. If it's hard for you to factor out the numbers, use the quadratic formula. Okay, so that's that's the thing that you will do class. If it's hard for you to factor out the numbers, use the quadratic formula. Alright, so that's it. To determine the roots, I hope you learned something new today. And if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.